Well, let's have a quick recap on the last tutorial. We opened a, a layer, a new layer above the background by clicking on the icon on the bottom there, create a new layer. We could have gone up here and used our shortcut. I just clicked on the new layer, shift control and shift command N. We then went and chose the color, chose the paint bucket, filled it, changed the name, and we have it sitting above our background layer. Now then, there are other ways of doing this. Uh, Let's have a look at this one on our layer menu, new fill layer. We can go to solid color. And this will bring up this small dialog box here. I'm going to leave the name as it is. You want to rename it. We'll leave that clipping uh, box alone. We'll keep the blend mode OK and the opacity OK. Click OK. And you can see there your uh, pick a solid color dialog box comes up, which we used before to choose a color. Uh, if I hover the uh, mouse over colors, you'll see an eyedropper will appear. We can actually use that to select colors in our images. But I'm going to click OK. And that's going to give us. A layer above now which is a color fill layer I can see there it comes with its name uh, there it comes with the uh, color and it also comes with this which is a layer mask already with it now it's white now there's a simple rule in layer mass it's white to reveal black to conceal we can switch it on and off and see there that it's doing the same job as the layer did underneath uh, so it's white to reveal and black to conceal. We can again do exactly the same as we did with that solid color layer we created below. We can play with the opacity and of course we can look at the drop down and uh, choose any uh, blend mode we want. Color burn of course is giving us that nice rich uh, burnt out color using this orange over the background layer. Um, we can work in this layer mask now. Uh, you must click inside it to make sure it's active. Uh, one of the things we need to do is to go across and choose a brush. So you either use your shortcut, which is B, or just click on the brush icon there. This will bring up your uh, options bar at the top here. We can change the opacity. I suggest you start working at 30%, first of all, just so you can get used to what the brush does. Uh, we can change the uh, pixel size of the brush, so we can have a nice big brush or a small brush. We can drag that up there like that. We can also choose the brush itself. You see that not such a big brush, really. Uh, we can use the bracket keys, so we can use the square bracket keys, the left and right bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of your brush as well. So uh, left or right brackets, increase and decrease. Uh, we can also choose what sort of brush you want. I'd like a nice soft brush. Uh, I'm going for number 100 in here, which has got a nice soft edge to it. And I'm just going to use the square brackets again just to increase. I'm going to make sure that that is clicked on and there's a little bounding box around the outside. I'm going to choose black. You can toggle between white and black either using a little arrow or your sh keyboard shortcut is X, which will toggle between your foreground and background colors. So we're all set up on the top there. We've got the opacity, we've got the pixel size, we've got the brush tip sorted. I'm just going to paint on the mask. So I'm painting black on the mask. So black will conceal the effect of this uh, layer. And you can see that 30% it's just gently washing away the effects of that orange color. And if we hold down the alt and key and click on with our mouse, it'll bring up the actual mask uh, full screen for you to have a look at to see what you've done. And uh, I'm going to take the opacity up to 100% so I can uh, see it again. Click on the eye icon, that'll get things back to normal again. And now if we paint on 100%, you can see that black is concealing the effect of the orange on the background layer. So we've now got black inside there. We're concealing the effect of this color burn orange layer above onto the background below. The white itself is revealing everything. We can also change the color on the fly. If you just click inside that color there. We can go in and change the color as we're working. So it's good, better to have that option. If we did the same thing with this layer, we'd have to click inside there. We'd have to go across and choose again from our color picker, go and choose the blue. Click OK, go across to our color brush, uh, uh, paint uh, uh, box here, and then just fill it again. So it's a bit more long winded. So you might want to start thinking about using this colorful layers. Um, let's click that on and off again. So you can see that to get the same effect, it's a bit more long winded. Whereas on the fly, we can actually do this. Just click in there. We can choose any color you want. You see that straight away, it's giving you a representation of what the effect the color will have on your background layer rather than going and setting and using your paint bucket tool and all that long-winded faffing around. Okay, but there are things we can do. Let's just click on this uh, icon here again. I'll bring this back up again so it indicates layer visibility. Turn that one off. Let's just click in to make sure, so it's black to make sure that it's selected. Uh, we can go into color, but that's a bit too dark. Let's just choose another blend mode. Don't forget to play around with your blend modes. Uh, we've got some overlay in here. And uh, here we can actually add, like we have here, a mask 
there's a little icon down at the bottom here which is here which is to add a layer mask we can add a layer mask to this and again remember it's white to, to reveal black to conceal so when it's white nothing's really happening uh, if we start applying black paint on either with uh, a gradient tool the brush the paint bucket whatsoever whatever we'll choose back again make sure it's clicked on we're 100 percent again and you can see there if i paint on this mask it's concealing the effect of that indigo bluish uh, color on the background layer below so we've done the same thing again we've started to look at mass now as well as layers so you're working in combination we've got mass we've got layers we've got blend modes and we've got opacity so one of the things to do now is once you've seen this uh, tutorial is to start playing around yourself and start looking at uh, using fill layers choosing whatever color you want in there don't forget to start uh, looking at your drop down and looking at your uh, blend modes and don't forget with this color fill layer you can actually do it on the fly just by clicking in there checking your color boxes uh, remember of course if you start to work in your mask painting on your mask 100% uh, black will conceal the effect 100% uh, white will reveal uh, if you might want that's why I said start at 30% you might want to see uh, uh, how much 30% affects the visibility of the uh, blending layer on the one below it and you can see then you can start messing around and adding different layers in using multiple blend modes on different layers different masking techniques it's all about starting to play around in this being non-destructive remember this is non-destructive we can actually throw these layers in the bin we haven't affected our background layer uh, we've chosen mass um, that really is time for you to start playing around yourself uh, but from me uh, really it's, uh, until next time bye for now